Hi, I'm Bogdan. In this video, I want to show you an example on how to use this um, data binding expression that we've added in Action Form 3.2. And here is a requirement on our forums. So there's uh, a radio, a radio button, yes, no. And then there are two text boxes. And when the radio box is set to yes, then the two text boxes should be synchronized. And I was able to implement this using two different mechanisms. So first one, this one sync with bind value. Um, you see I have two radio boxes and here I write something and it, it's, it doesn't appear in the second text box un until I click yes. So from now on you see they are synchronized. And this is using the data, uh, the value binding. This, uh, the second form uses the on change binding and basically does the same thing. So I'm writing something, it doesn't change, but as soon as I switch to yes and uh, this field changes, you see the, uh, the other one is in sync. So one thing to notice is that here the binding will happen automatically because I'm binding the value. But here on the second example, I'm binding on change. So even if I change this until the change event of the source text box fires, nothing is synced. Okay. And I will also go and show you how I set up the form. I've also exported these forms and I will post it with the video. So basically I have the radio box, there's nothing uh, special here, I just added um, a yes no radio box and then I added two small texts, text boxes and here on the target text box I wrote this expression. So if sync equals yes, so this is the radio bu button. Then, this is the conditional operator, use the value in the source field, otherwise use nothing. And the other form, it's called sync with on change handler. And for this one, it's the same setup, except that instead of binding to the value of the target field, which is now empty, I've bound the expression to the source on change handler. So this basically, this code executes when a text box is changes, or when a button is clicked and so on. And here I wrote, uh, I, I wrote an if, so if the sync is yes, then I will synchronize this basically just copy the value from the source field into the target field. So you see, uh, it's very simple, just with uh, an expression I was able to synchronize, conditionally synchronize, uh, two text boxes. I hope this helps. Thank you for your time.